how'd it happen? Uh, first turn, yeah. Oh, oh that fell. fucking first yeah, turn. Yeah, man. First it dips down? Yeah, first oh, turn on oh, that do. dip. Came in, passenger side, wheel, hooked it. The rear came around on me and the whole car flipped. And I rolled back onto my wheels. And you was... have a Cajun this? No. Oh, they must have been shitting bricks when they saw you. It held up well. It didn't kill me, yeah. so that was nice. Yeah, no, this is good. This will oh, no. buff out. This is fun. Oh. Engine was still running after it had flipped. Yeah, swap uh, it out. There you go. Yeah. You're good. I can't believe that I flipped my Corolla. I don't know what else to say about it. I've been saying that over and over and over again, but I love that car so, so much, and I'm not done with it. We're gonna figure out what we can do, what we can save, and how I can drive an 8.6 again. We are back at John's where we first built the car, and I guess where we're gonna build the car again. So we're taking off the long champ that I bent, and we're going to put one of the original wheels back on so that we can roll it into the garage and figure out how bad the damage is. That'll hammer out. Well, we can't find the keys, so we have to tow it with a tractor. Yeah, so without the keys, we can't turn the steering wheel. So the tractor's going to kind of pull it around so we can get the right angle to get it into the garage. It's nice to see it rolling again. And it's almost in, and it is so much worse than I remember. Oh my god. Bunch of dirt in the engine bay, but otherwise... Everything looks good. All right, well, it took us about two years to build the Corolla. It took me about three seconds to destroy it. And I probably subjected Nick and company to two more years of Corolla building. So <laughs> that's good. This is good too. I live for the oh, car. I found it, you didn't lose it, great. Broadway mirror survived. Good, good, yes. Yeah. That was did that fall? Oh yeah, I see why it fell off entirely. <laughs> oh yeah, no, the whole mirror fell off. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, but how did that fall off? Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, the Broadway mirror was my big concern. <laughs> I'm gonna get a new shell, we're gonna swap everything over, and then like nine months later I'm gonna get in the car and get stabbed by glass somehow. <laughs> I know it. Uh, try again. Do they turn on? Yes. Oh, that's no, sad. This is kind of the moment of the truth. Because if I just ruin the shell, we're okay. I can get a new shell. If I destroyed everything else, I don't know if I'm going to have another Corolla anytime soon. Come here. Come here. Looks good. That thing looks solid. There's nothing ever out anywhere. It's like straight. No, it looks like it does every time we put your car in the air. Yeah, all your suspension is like perfect. From down here, you never know I rolled my car. I should just never look at it any other way ever again. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's hysterical. This should be straight. That's supposed to be straight. <laughs> So suspension looks good, um, driver's side is totally solid, uh, passenger side, the strut tower is crumpled so it's hanging a little bit. Um, everything else is straight except the pan hard bar, so you really only lost like a hundred dollars in that flip. No, that's not cool. Look. Ideally, for this project, uh, we'll find a new shell and put everything from this car into it. Um, I don't want to feel like I lost this car. I want to feel like I'm going to drive this car again. So, not done with this car. So I made a, a post about Eric's car. And uh, about five minutes later, we got, a, we got a hit. 
Hey man, I might have exactly what you guys are looking for. Granted, I really shouldn't part with it, but I might be into selling it to the right person for the right price. Ouch. Super duper clean 1985 SR5 hatch shell. I'll send you some photos later once I'm at my shop. I'm in Springfield, Mass. Sounds familiar. That might be the thing. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that first episode of this vlog series made by my good friend Eric. I had no part in the making of these, of this um, series, but yeah. It's just like a recent event and he's decided to pick up the whole vlogging process of rebuilding his car and um, yeah, he doesn't really have like a dedicated channel for his car so I've taken the honor of hosting these this series on on our channel now to update on that um, the ice 300 build is now underway and I expect to be posting a video I'm guessing once every week if not then once every two weeks I'm devoting my weekends to working on the car and you know sometimes things don't work out and if that happens then we're gonna have like a one week delay but stay tuned to that we have two ongoing series that's happening this fall and um, be sure to like and subscribe and yeah let's share the video of people and let's spread the publicity and yeah hope you like it stay tuned and um, have a good one <laughs>